blood spilled. Breeding. For many, many thousands of years, red has been associated with evil. Blood spilling, the color of the devil's skin more often than not. A color of hell along with orange, which is just a twist of yellow. The color of the sun, which represented good, life, healing, etc. This was part of the natural explanation to man about that which is good and that which is evil. The moon was associated with evil because it came out at night when man was very afraid of what would happen to him. It eventually became associated with women and the womb and so on, and ultimately with lunacy because of changing around the divine order in a way that was unnatural and didn't make sense. So again, bread, think of it as broad, a dumb broad, breeding in a way that is evil. Going back to consensus and consensual, a consensus of worldly pirates, colonists, and the fools who are scared to speak out against them is a consensus of evil. It's also right there in the words fucking right fucking right fuck backwards is cuff okay you're forced to do it you may as well be cuffed by the representatives of the state you are strong-armed you are coerced you are forced you are tricked right your hands are tied as the saying goes so we have the, the saying god right god and the rest of the saying so it is blank Fucking damn it. Okay? Damn what? Making love in the true spirit of God. And before I'm done with this video, I will definitively show you that the true spirit of God is not in the sex that people are having. That is not allowed. It is fucking sad. A bunch of people who are outside the spirit of God having sex. Think about it. How many people have sex in a church in the right way, for example? How many people say a prayer before sex? How many people go out of their way to do any ritual to bring themselves into the spirit before having sex? It's very straightforward. People don't make love. They just are tender and loving in their touching and they have slow sex, right? How do you like it? Fast or slow? So people are getting fucked in the system right? They're fucking you over. Who's fucking who has to do with who tells you how to fuck. You learn from TV, you learn from porn, you learn from older experienced people at times. For fuck's sake, why don't you get what is the main focus of society and what automatically means failure? Sleeping outside of the divine order means you're a failure. You've chosen this world. Secularism is another word for worldliness, which is another word for Satanism. Anything that is profane or outside of God, right, even if it's sophisticated, which also means lack of spirit, and ultimately by default, the lack of morality. By D for penis, give her the D, default. By default, you are guilty, no matter how you slice it, because you haven't worshipped the Father and the divine order of making love is not something you're a part of. Also, devil, right? De-evil. And this has to do with attacking masculinity, true masculinity, true fair play. What is truly fair is truly right. What is fair enough is something that must be right, must be right, must be true, must be righteous. Okay. Everything else is just wordplay to confuse you and cheat you. Occult, again, sex cult, Crowley, sex cults, Hollywood, Holy Wood, fact, stick fighting, magic wand, fact, okay? The dating culture, who gets hurt and why? And who gets rewarded? As people are controlling you through their cultural imperialism, through various paths that lead to the ruling class, defining them and their celebrities and evil scum as idols in society, 
and people are mimicking them, including what music they play when they have sex, the different style, doggy style, right? And it's right there in the wordplay, dog, you know, backwards is God, who is your God, the person who taught you to have sex that way, not the one true God. And that's not making love, you know? There's certain ways that everyone should know by default is not making love. Oral sex by default is not making love. Doggy style by default is not making love. Okay. Making love can only be really missionary, right? Missionary. A raw. Okay. Now let's think about in Egypt, right? They had the red crown of lower Egypt, which was northern Egypt. Versus the white crown. Why? Because attractive women were attracted to this higher point on the trade route. The further you go down, the blacker they get and the less variety you get. So if you are attracted to beautiful women in general, you want to be higher up. And this includes the cult center of Heliopolis, where the Horus son of Ra is supposed to control reproduction through the trade routes that come, th come uh, to and fro from here. Okay, you know, they go through there. I mean, they extend all the way to the Iba Uku Empire at the time, all the way, you know, into India and so on and so forth. Okay. And of course, incidentally, Dionysus, right? The cult would include the Persians and the, the people of Canaan and Egypt and Ethiopia. All these people would merge through Crete and become the Dionysus cult, which in about, you know, uh, you know, you know, around the time of the Ptolemies is said to have spread into India. Okay, and they have leopards carrying the chariot and so on. Anyway, I don't want to get too much off topic here, but this is mainstream history. There's no other, I couldn't possibly be wrong about this. It's insane to think that I am. This, not, this really is not up for debate. It is something that the, the most insightful people acknowledge. It's right there in the wordplay. The wordplay, the language is part of the culture. How many countries speak English and so on and so forth. So making love is unofficially banned. How do we know this? Well, why did they burn black churches? If you're a Christian organization, why would you burn black churches? If you hate black people, why would you rape black women? It's obvious. Because of their Roman culture, it is the E versus the A, the alpha. A bunch of people teaming up on one skinny, underfed black guy that they have crippled ahead of time and quite often drugged ahead of time, which is not included in history, but anybody who's insightful or has a basic thought process knows that that's the case. Why? Because all throughout history, people are poisoned. Kings are poisoned. You think they didn't poison these people first? You think they didn't sabotage them first and do things to make it harder for them to run away? Even in the movie Roots, right? They cut off the toes and things like this to make it harder for them to escape. In anticipation of the lynching, they would cripple these people, which is what they are doing to me, right? And also goes back to you know, curing the blind in the Bible, right? My eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord and so on and so forth, why they're blinding me, okay? So Eros proves my point. Erotic sex, Aphrodite, Cupid, Valentine's Day, Venus, Christmas, Saturn, Kronos, role reversal, switching things around, turning the tables, right? Um, Etc. also Western conceptions of love, which also include Ludus, Love is a game, sport, con, quest, which may include multiple partners. Okay, so now that we've seen all this, now that I've established it to this point, it should be very clear. Bread, right? Be red. That is how they're breeding people to be. I brought this up before. This is what they're doing. The reason why people are dumbed down isn't just drugs in the water. They have bred to be stupid as survivor cowards when the heart is the seed of intelligence. If you don't have the heart to stand for the highest principles of good, how smart could you be? Life is only so short and we can judge somebody by what they do in their lifetime. What do they leave their kid? What, you know, do they, did they have kids in this world? If so, why? What is the purpose of you having kids? So they can be evil as well. They can be red and breed more, breed more red, 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 more evil, more devil colored scum. Not referring to race, mind you. Think of life as a bunch of people in a satanic ritual. This is a parallel. It's very strong. It's solid. People are raping and chopping up toddlers. What does this include? A degree of knowledge, 
a degree of indifference, a degree of work. Who are you working for? Complicity and also pleasure. Because if you're raping them and you ejaculate with all due respect, okay, you know, and I'm trying to be disgusting, trying to paint the picture here, you enjoy it to some degree, right? Even though it's wrong. That's what life is. It is wrong, it is complicity, and it is enjoyment, and there's this false idea among a small group of people that perhaps somehow it's going to be better, right? The most crazed people perhaps think that there's a chance that this is going to change. It's stupid. It's right there in the wordplay. It's not going to change. Bread, be read. To wait for Jesus to come back on a cloud is irresponsible. I don't believe it's going to happen, and even if you did, it's wrong. What are you going to say to him? I was waiting for you to come back on a cloud I, if that did happen. It's stupid. He caught you like a thief in the night, acting like a bitch. Period. My goodness. And even write that word play on words, bread and bread. Be read and bread. Why? Because even when you apply phonetics, bread, food, becomes evil. Be read. It's still be read because of phonetics, sounds, and wordplay. Vowels, interchangeable vowels, right? Vowel to L. Anyway, so ultimately that goes back to food. Fee, D. So we have default, D, evil, devil, and feed, fee, fee D, right? Deal with the devil, laid, led, deal, lead, backwards. You're letting them control your reproductive cycle and make you breed in the wrong direction. It's not enough to go to church. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm going to go back to letting them lead me you know, straight to hell and acting like a bitch. And then if you ever do come back, I'm going to say, I, I was praying. Uh, uh, even though faith without works is empty, it's dead. And uh, my soul is dead. I'm an empty vessel, bitch. It's stupid. I mean, think about the kind of cowards I've been dealing with in this secular, profane, sniveling dog nation. Now, speaking of that, they are sons of bitches. Bear with me. Why? Because they have prostitute attitudes. There's a, there's, there's a popular kind of meme on the internet that says, a gold digger like a hooker, but smarter. Let's think about whore as whores. Whore also means face, okay? It can be the face of the huge, true hero striking down evil, it can, and the opposite of that is the gender neutral idea of the whore face. Some guys act like bitches, as the saying goes. Number one, there is the snob face. A hooker snobbing you. You ain't shit, nigga. You broke ass nigga, right? Hookers say these things. They probably say them more than some obnoxious bitch in the ghetto. And this is an act of social control, social reinforcement, etc. And 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 uh, uh, ill-defining uh, uh, what it means to be masculine. Two. There's the bitter, petty-faced whore. You would have done the same thing. Right? How many more people are acting like bitter, petty-faced whores? I have to survive ah, like a rat that's crazed trying to eat. It's part of why bread is be red. When you value the food instead of the principles, you become this petty, give me that loaf of bread type of bitch. Number three, a giggling slut face. After they sucked a dick or something, they make some giggling ass face. Well, I'm way behind, so let me just shoot through this. Okay, then there's all the common occult faces. I'll put it at the end of the video if I have the time with the makeup and all this stuff. All right. So debt, slavery, and addiction to drugs, like a whore, addiction to lifestyle, being cool, is part of why they do this. Okay, I went over the ludus. And eugenics is a part of this. The true love, they say, is mania because they drive people who insist on love crazy and they drug them and they provoke them and so on and so forth. And incidentally, this is why gang stalking is like a very basic part of society, what they need to do to change. This is like the main place they need to start. Gang stalking, mental health, political abuse of law enforcement, political abuse of mental health. If you can't address these things, how can you get society together in the right, right, right direction? You know, well, are you going to work around it when this surveillance technological age It's stupid? So when we look at the mixes of the people, right, the mulatto is the most obviously mixed people. The other races kind of blend together. Man, I didn't want to make this two fucking videos. Fuck this two videos. Okay, I'm going to put this bitch shit at the fucking end to help you understand. Basically, people are bred to be fucking scum. It's right there in their own fucking word. They're submitting to Western cultures, whether it's a black American culture, Hispanic. These are Western cultures. They're African-American and da-da-da. And then these people come from other countries and suck American dick trying to fit in. These are all American cultures, English language cultures. And it has to do with 
breeding be red like the fucking devil. They're scum.